Hello everybody and welcome to your 1111 portal tarot reading. I am going to do a reading for each and every sign. There will be timestamps below. Before I do that, I'm going to pull in an overall message about this energy of 1111 for everybody. Um, I'm also going to do a 1111 portal reading specifically for star seeds and specifically for twin flames. So those will be coming. But um, the overall gist I'm getting about this 1111 portal has a lot to do with Lemurian energy, Lemurian codes that are within the earth, okay? And typically for me, just because of information that was brought to me early on my journey, I associate the Taurus Scorpio axis with the Pleiadian energy. So I see this 1111 portal as the Pleiadian energy activating ancient Lemurian light codes that are within the earth plane. And as those codes are activated, it activates something different in each of us because depending on how spiritual you are, how awakened you are, how focused you are currently in the 3D is what's ultimately going to be activated within you. And spiritual versus 3D, there's no right, there's no wrong. We're all on different paths for our personal soul evolution and that's where our focus is, okay? So I'm going to pull an uh, overall energy of the Lemurian goddess that's coming in that's helping uh, facilitate this activation along with the Pleiadian energy for these ancient light codes for the 1111 portal. And this is overall for everybody the strongest part of this activation within like the earth plane, the grid, the matrix. Okay, look at that. I am not surprised to see this goddess of love and look at number 11. Oh my gosh, the synchronicity love right there. I just had a feeling that uh, these light codes, these ancient Lemurian light codes has a lot to do with the love vibration and frequency. Hence why I put this out right here and boom, here we are. The goddess of love, the Lemurian goddess of love energy coming in in to escort us all through this portal okay and this is relationships all embracing love affinity with creation unconditionality self-love mother's love sympathy gentleness emotional security to overcome unfeelingness heart and heart suppressed feelings love sickness self-pity problems of the heart so there is going to be a major activation to ancient Lemurian codes that are all about love frequency and the love frequency is so much more than just romantic love most of the time when people think of love that's right where they go this is uh, something just the spectrum of this love is not about specifically romance or family or love of humanity it's a deeper awakening in the core of each and every person of what that love frequency vibration really means what it really is what it really offers okay so a big awakening to the vibration of love is happening amongst every person in the collective of humanity and it's because these ancient Lemurian light codes are being activated by the Pleiadian energy through Scorpio season in this 1111 portal Right, and let's pull a Lemurian card to go with that. All right, well, there we go. And then I will get right into each and every sign and how this is, uh, you know, personally activating you. All right, so the goddess of love is bringing forth the last cloak, release old identities, magnificence, realized, wow. So here is a big shedding of skin. I'm feeling that Aquarian age energy as well major illumination, a lot of um, 
um, activation in the heart space across the collective of humanity so that we can all see each other through our spiritual eyes and come to a different plane of understanding. There is so much chaos, separation, segregation among the earth plane right now and that is why this 1111 portal is activating these ancient Lemurian codes about the love vibration and frequency to unite, to heal, to mend, to bring everybody together, okay? So very strong message there. And the other card, it, look at that integration, yep. <clears throat> Forgive self and others, reunion, let go of differences, open the door. And you see the, the light beings there? That to me is um, the... Pleiadian energy coming in to activate these light codes, these ancient Lemurian light codes within the earth plane, okay? And as those codes are activated, it activates you. And this is all moving us to um, a place that is closer to love, a new frequency of the love energy. And again, that goes so beyond um, connection with another person. This is much bigger than that, okay? So that is the uh, main energy that's coming through <clears throat> as the opening message for us in this, uh, you know, 1111 portal for each sign. And in the star seed as well as the twin flame reading, I'm going to expand greatly um, on those energies in those two fields. So let's get right in to the sign readings. I am going to start with Scorpio since we are in Scorpio season. And like I said, the Scorpio time um, energy is very uh, intricate and a part of this 1111 portal because it's attached to that Pleiadian energy. So let's start with you, Scorpio. What's happening for you? How is this love frequency being activated inside of you? All right, so we have purity. You are pure. Open your spiritual eyes. Oh my goodness. After this opening message, look at you, and this is a number one. You are really being activated to see um, everybody, like every human being and the world in general through your spiritual eyes, seeing the sacredness in every moment, understanding the growing pains that everybody in humanity is going through right now as that Piscean age really falls away and the Aquarian age comes in so so strong so this uh, activation of this love frequency from Lemuria is really opening your spiritual eyes and you seeing your connection to each and every person on this planet whether you see them um, through your 3d self as good bad evil right wrong enemy friend it doesn't matter you're going to see each person through your spiritual eyes and you see the sacredness of every single life even if their opinion their way of life all of it is vastly different from you and maybe even in like a, a more negative vibrational way of living you're still going to see them through their spiritual eyes this is where i don't want to judge i don't want to condemn i want to speak wisdom i want to open your eyes i want to help you heal so Scorpio, this runs deep. You're going to see people from your ancient spiritual eyes, which pulls you closer into that love energy, that new frequency of love that's being activated. And I just want to say, this is the Tarot of Dreams Tarot. My first time ever purchasing this deck was March 3rd of 2016. And the cards were like really starting to fall apart. So I ordered a new deck because I love it so much. And this is its first go round with this Lemurian uh, light codes with the 1111 portal. So it's all about brand new energy. What's old needs to fall away and the new needs to come in. All right, seven of pentacles, two of pentacles, 
and two of swords wow all right Scorpio um, I do feel that many of you may have been losing your faith in humanity losing your faith in the world um, with the seven of Pentacles Saturn's attached to this so you know this has been a heavy ride for you but here it is you got the two of Pentacles and the two of swords you are stepping into a whole new world when you see it through your spiritual eyes to me this being your spiritual eyes these two pentacles and allowing you to see what you are blinded from in the 3d realm okay so it just goes through right in your tarot cards um you know your ancient eyes opening and you seeing everybody for the sacredness and divinity they are and the sacredness and everything that's happening in the world um even though some of it's very low vibration okay you're understanding all of it how all the pieces fit and where here we are at the seven of pentacles really losing hope really losing faith all of that's going to change because you're going to see through new eyes and here it is like you're being activated you're being awakened in your heart space scorpio in a whole new way all right so this 11 11 portal for you guys opening those ancient eyes all right let's pull one final card awakened awareness yes see that your ancient eyes opening right up Scorpio and you're gonna see people and you're gonna feel people in a whole new way don't fear it don't push this away you're being activated you're being awakened all right your ancient eyes so Scorpio those are your messages for this 1111 portal I am sending you lots of love and light as always take care <clears throat> Hello Sagittarius, how are all of you? <clears throat> Let's see uh, what this portal is activating, how this love frequency is entering your life personally. Oh wow, okay. I was just getting ready to cut. Sacred Mountain, Vision Quest, Clarity, Truth, Deep Healing. Oh, Sagittarius, this activation of these ancient Lemurian codes of love, of higher vibrational <clears throat> love, is going to bring forth healing and truth and clarity within you that you have been long searching for okay the spiritual quest like trying to make sense of your life your journey your place your purpose in all of it okay and um it's been like the sacred mountain it's been a journey and now as you step through this 1111 portal the way you are activated it's like you're gonna see how every step of your journey fits together and you're gonna be overcome with a very deep sense of healing and you're gonna see truth and clarity in a way you never have before okay it's like you've been in a fog and maybe some of you aren't like totally consciously aware of this fog all right and as you get activated it's like everything begins to clear and you're like oh wow I had no idea I had no idea and things just make sense closure coming for you answers clarity truth which brings this deep deep healing and it, it's very liberating it's very freeing for you and as that you know frequency of love activates inside of you it's truly opening your heart space where you were closed all right so let's pull you some tarot Sorry if you hear the gallivanting behind me. That's my cats. They always have to get wild and crazy. They've been pretty good lately, but they're like, nope, we want to be heard. We're going to run around and be crazy. King of Wands, look at you. Yes. The Magician and the death oh yeah 
Sagittarius. So you got two major arcanas coming out, and this is you, whether you are male or female, okay? King of Wands, that is the level in which you are reaching through this activation of that uh, Lemurian love frequency inside of you, bringing you into that like leadership, that higher perception where you can separate emotion from thought, um, and also where you know that separation of emotion it's very helpful because it lets you better understand your journey and why certain things had to happen the way that they did and what it taught you and how it grew you and who you're now today in this moment okay and um this activation and, and you come into this clarity it feels magical for you Sagittarius oh my gosh it's just like whoa I never knew you got some uh, mercury going on there it's like very mental for you like I never knew it's just something clicking in your mind okay and here at the death card death is the representation of Scorpio in the tarot and this 1111 portal is happening during Scorpio season so you're really feeling that Pleiadian energy this activation is quite strong and the death is the death to the pain to the confusion to the fogginess to the lack of clarity like that's dying that's falling away and you are seeing and feeling um so clear so balanced so sure where is in the past not so much you're knowing your place you have a better feel of your purpose why you're here how you fit into everything and some of you awakening to the magic within all right so this is very powerful deep deep healing coming for Sagittarius and understanding your journey and your path Right, solar plexus chakra radiant illumination this is your powerhouse this is where you manifest from this is where you draw courage from this is where you build from okay so you're feeling this activation of this love frequency very very strongly in the solar plexus which makes absolute sense you coming through as the king of wands that really strong masculine energy whether you're male or female and it's because everything is just finally making sense and you understand in a different way and it brings forth so much healing which empowers you all right Sagittarius so those are your messages I am sending you lots of love and light take care hello Capricorn how are you Let's see how this love frequency is activating and igniting within you. Okay, so we've got Earth Angel, kindness, sensitivity is strength, higher perspective, divine abilities. All right, so Capricorn, you guys are being activated in a way that is aligning you more to your spiritual gifts, abilities, talents, um, your connection with spirit, your connection with the angels, all right? This, to me, feels purely spiritual. This isn't talking about the 3D at all. Um, the way this love frequency is activating inside of you, it's making you aware of your intuition. It's making you aware of your medium ship ability reading cards um, just and some of you this could be very personal where you just um, are really opening up to channel and talk to your angels your spirit guides your passed on loved ones for your own personal journey with no desire to open up in that capacity um, to read for other people okay some of you yes and some of you know this is spiritual this is awakening to your spirit some of you this can be the actual awakening where um, your perception is about to shift big time where you're gonna see the 3d um, as not so much the real intangible 
all right as it seems right now in this moment as solid all there is it's like your eyes opening to the light spectrum beyond human vision okay and that's attached to your spiritual gifts that's attached to your intuition that's attached to your ability to really hear the messages from your angels from your spirit guides okay so you are activating spiritually Capricorn and with Earth Angel, um, some of you have a very high calling to do a lot of work for spirit and um, help humanity. And you're really feeling that. <clears throat> and as you step through this portal, it's going to become even more clear to you. Nine of Pentacles, Two of Wands, and Palace of Pentacles. Okay, so here you are being very, um, you know, 3D, and that's not a bad thing, okay? This is you being very 3D, very focused in the physical realm. And here it is, the Two of Wands, where this light switch goes on inside of you, and you go from this 3D perception into this spiritual perception. And if you're already very spiritual or spiritually gifted, this is a, a huge expansion to that area of yourself, okay? Because it's truly going from one world to the next. And this palace of coins, um, what this tells me, this is the highest denomination of the uh, pinnacle suit, earth energy. So Capricorn, this activation is happening for you because you've completed a lot of your life lessons where you were meant to like grow and manifest and be very, very 3D focused on building okay you've completed your main task of that that doesn't mean like you're not uh, still focused in the 3d moving forward it just means you've completed a major part of that 3d work that you signed up for and now um, through this 1111 portal you're being activated in your spirit body because you're going from one world to the next now you're going to have like this uh, really strong dual perception of 3d as well as the spiritual realm and how it all fits together okay and some of you through these spiritual gifts this activation or this major expansion um, it's like you're finally going to uh, start doing it professionally and earning your source of income that way and that's what this is talking about okay so major activation to your soul I'm sorry that was my cat major activation to your soul Capricorn becoming aware of your spiritual self in a much much bigger way and that's going to be part of your journey moving forward root chakra ground and center oh yeah so there's a root chakra activation which is attached to the physical realm right but the activation happening there is for purpose okay it's like all this that you've worked on is now firmly anchored into the earth plane into the 3d you see this moth you can now rise to the light to the higher spiritualness of yourself okay because that is now meant to be part of you as you walk this journey all right so this is very very powerful capricorn those are your messages for this portal i am sending you lots of love and light take care <coughs> Hello Aquarius, how are you? See what this 1111 portal is activating in you with that love frequency. All right, beyond cycles. Find and embrace yourself, new direction, releasing old patterns, nice. Aquarius. 
this activation of this love frequency inside of you is really allowing you to leave the past behind and we've got a 10 I didn't realize this was card 10 I was about to say like the last 10 years um, behind like the last decade is falling away from you okay and you are embracing a whole new path a whole new direction some of you this feels really big like you could be um, moving like from one state to the next or to another country like that big of a move it's not just like oh I'm moving from an apartment into a house I'll still be in the same town no this would be a huge move some of you are really thinking about um, going down a completely different career path okay um, or you may have been at the same job for like 10 20 years and you're ready to let that go and start something new this for you guys is um, this activation of the love frequency is going to allow you to now leave the past behind leave the last 10 years behind and really open up and embrace a new direction a new path forward all right so let's uh, pull you some tarot Seven of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles. Wow, look at you, Aquarius. Nothing but Pentacles popping out for you guys. Okay, so um, here we are. We've got Saturn in Taurus. So many of you, this is uh, probably most likely played out financially through your job um, or you know it could be family shared resources going on here uh, what we're leaving behind because Saturn is like our teacher you've been learning a lot of lessons here and you see that coming through with the eight of Pentacles especially around like money investments financial choices job um, learning new job skills things like that okay and it's just like uh, I don't feel like this is working. I don't feel like this is going to pay off. Like, really feeling stagnated, okay? Um, you've come as far as you can come. And this is general, so this does not have to be money, um, career, job, finance. It does not have to be that. It just feels very, very strong, that for me, okay? And you've learned and you've grown, and now you're kind of at that, that end, that end point, okay? This is card 10. This is card 10. You're completing a 10-year cycle here, Aquarius, and it's time for you to really, like, let this uh, Seven of Pentacles go. Like, this is what we're leaving behind because it's, um, you know, lessons Saturn teaches us, and you've learned all these lessons, okay? And, again, it's iterated through this Eight of Pentacles. You've learned all these lessons, okay? And some of these lessons could have been playing out financially, but you, what you were gaining at the soul was so much more than just about money or job choice, okay? And now here, the Ten of Pentacles, it's time to step into your glory, into your golden period, into a period of prosperity, okay? And if you want to start your own business, you have the skill set, the experience, the intelligence to do so, okay? Um, some of you, I feel, might even be selling a business, all right? Yeah, do it. Aquarius, you're going to feel the call like, yeah, my path is somewhere different now. Whatever that is for you, you've got to follow that, Aquarius, because where you're currently at, it's it's stagnating. You've gained all you can gain, and it, it's time for major prosperity, major rewards. So this love frequency, 
the activation of it inside of you is going to activate a new passion which I feel you're gonna uh, turn into like a job your own business the way you generate income okay there's just this beautiful passion activating in you and it's because that's your path now moving forward and everything that you've learned and gained had to be learned and gained to get you to this place all right so um, activation to leave the last 10 years behind because it, it's time to step into like your golden period and again feels very strong around like your job your career but it does not have to be that if it feels like it's resonating in some other area of your life that I did not mention trust your innocence yes trust that even though you want to go down this new path and it's completely unknown and unfamiliar to you, Aquarius. You've learned all you needed to know to, to begin that, to start that. You have everything you need. So don't fear the unknown and the unfamiliar. Embrace it and know that you have everything that you need. All right. So those are your messages for this 1111 portal Aquarius. I am sending you lots of love and light. Take care. Hello Pisces, how are you? Let's see what this uh, love frequency is activating inside of you as you step through this 1111 portal. All right, guidance, inner compass, support, trust your guidance. So Pisces, you are having a major activation to your intuition all right and um, that's your inner compass and that's opening you up to trusting yourself more trusting the vibes around you more not second guessing yourself so much and also opening you up more to the guidance of your spirit guides and your angels all right um, your angels and your spirit guides are always speaking to you and oftentimes it comes through as like your own thoughts so you don't realize that you're getting an answer even though the thought is new or random um, you know you just you might not receive it um, you might disregard it if you're really worried um, you're freaking out about something and this different thought tries to make its way in your mind it's like you'll push it away so this 1111 portal is going to activate your intuition okay this love frequency which also opens your heart chakra much much more and you're going to become a bit more compassionate and sensitive but also uh, having the ability to remain uh, objective all right and not get emotionally sucked in to different situations and people still being able to sympathize and really relate but also to hold that space on the outside from you know um, a different perspective of being more of an observer and your intuition Pisces is going to be so spot on um, it, it is much more than you even realize right now even even those of you who are super intuitive it's going to become even stronger and you're going to be able to rely on what you are sensing much more moving forward than you have been able to in the past Eight of Pentacles, Three of Swords, the Wheel of Fortune. Oh, Pisces! All right, so you've you've been learning some hard lessons, okay? And uh, you know, Wheel of Fortune is ten, so we got that ten-year thing going on. Five. This is card five, so five ten years. 
um, you've been working on a lot of lessons that have to do with your intuition, okay? And um, I see here, you feel like you've had more misses than you've had hits, all right? But that it's not that you're a failure, that you're not intuitive, that you're wrong, all these things. It's that you've been working on the development of this major activation that's coming to your intuition, okay? And um, oftentimes, it's our mental body that's in conflict with our intuition, and the mental body tends to always win, okay? Because thoughts are always going, always going, always going, always going. And so your thoughts really have pulled you away from your intuitive promptings, and you've learned these lessons, okay? You've really learned this, and now, as you step through this 1111 portal, it's really going to activate and make sense to you. All these lessons are now, instead of being experienced, transform into wisdom and you understand in a different way. And you see where you let worry, you let projection, you let yourself get in the way of what your intuition was telling you. Okay, um, a big shift in that understanding with the Wheel of Fortune coming through right there. And also, um, you got Saturn here and then you've got Jupiter. So the lessons, the hard lessons have been learned, Pisces. And now it's time for some blessing. It's time for things to shift, all right? So this 1111 portal is really activating your intuitive um, knowing, your sense of um, feeling and your inner perception, okay? Big activation to that and you're gonna feel that you can rely on that inner compass much more moving forward than you could in the past. And see, this is like a big compass right there, right? So look at the synchronicity of that. Yes, your inner compass feeling very finely tuned and leading you in direction, okay? And um, this, this sadness here of feeling like you felt wrong or you did wrong. Some of this Pisces was like a lack of validation of what you were sensing, okay? So you just thought you were wrong, but you're right more than you know, even though you feel like you've had more misses than you've had hits, okay? You've just uh, been working on growing this, um, your intuition and you know that that takes a lot okay it really does and what goes into that is um, almost impossible to articulate into words the uh, just the way I feel this for you but that's changing now you can trust yourself Pisces moving forward when this frequency of love activates inside of you it's hitting your intuition and it's just like, boom, everything makes sense. And your inner compass leads you perfectly moving forward. All right. So let's pull you an advice. The infinite, yes, Pisces, that is you. Connecting ever deeper into the infinite and in that space, you really learn to trust your inner compass over everything else. And I see the struggle in the past, but it's because you were learning, you were fine tuning. And now it's like, you know, open for business, ready to go live, green light go, and your inner guidance will not lead you wrong, Pisces. That's where you're receiving your activation the strongest, all right? So those are your messages. I am sending you lots of love and light. Take care. Hello, Aries. How are you? Let's see what is activating inside of you with this love frequency. All right. Well, there we go. Nice. A deep, deep healing coming for Aries. It says um, gentleness of love, realignment, transformation. So this love frequency activating very, very strongly in Aries. It's going to bring you a deep healing. It's going to open your heart space to love again, 
to forgive, um, to realign to your dreams and to allow the transformation and shedding of old energies, old traumas, old hurts that no longer serve you. It's like Phoenix rising from the ashes for Aries. I love it. Deep, deep healing comes over you because it is the love frequency 100% your heart chakra being activated Aries beautiful <clears throat> let's pull some tarot Knight of Swords, Palace of Wands, and Ten of Cups. All right, so right here, Aries, we've gone a little bit cold, <clears throat> we're a little bit cut off, we're a little bit distant. And it's because we have these hurts within, all right? But now through this activation, the, uh, the Palace of Wands is the highest denomination of the Wands energy. This is your soul. This is your fighting spirit. This is the ethers of creation, all right? And this tells me that you have completed... Um, a soul lesson and look at here's the 10 like I don't know what it is but it's like um, everybody's been working on this for like the last 10 years of their life where they're receiving this activation and you are no exception because here it is like the biggest completion of the soul that you can imagine okay and all these 10 cups are telling me you've been working on a lot of emotional growth and uh, maturity and lessons which have come through a lot of your relationships okay and that's why we've gone cold and kind of shut off a little bit because of the heartache and the pain and um, really trying to understand everything and now Aries you are being like brought back to life your heart is being turned on against your will for some of you okay it's because you completed your soul cycle and all the lessons attached to it and now it's time for happiness to come in it's time for you to feel love it's time for you to feel connected it's time for you to feel like you are a part of something even if you are close to like friends family you have a romance there's been a disconnect in your emotional body and you're going to notice it after this activation it's like seeing things in in very light pastel colors and after this activation, it's like everything is, is vivid, vivid and rich. Okay, so like think like um, you were experiencing through like pale pink and baby blue and a very light yellow. And now after this activation, it's like deep, shocking red, oranges, yellows. Okay, just bold, strong color. That's what's happening for you in your emotional body with this activation of this higher frequency of love, okay? And it's because you have completed this soul cycle, Aries, and it's time for things to be healed. It's time for the past to be the past, and it's time for you to um, really come to life emotionally. And I'm telling you, even if you're a very sensitive person who loves, like, this is going up a whole new level from that very light coloring to, like, bold colors. Um, and it's beautiful and healing. I mean, that's the main message is the healing. So you're going from this Knight of Swords energy, okay, very <clears throat> defensive, very protective of self, trying to not feel emotions, trying to not get involved to all of that falling away and uh, coming into this. And you know the song that uh, just popped in my head? It's Little Wonders by Rob Thomas. Listen to that song. That song 
um, is like the perfect description of the message of this reading. All right, so listen to that song, Little Wonders by Rob Thomas. Right, internal explorer, yeah. See, you <clears throat> are activating inside in a whole new way, Aries, which is gonna bring you to life in a way you haven't felt before. And uh, the way, you know, energies move through you, it's bold color, it's beautiful. All right, so those are your messages, Aries. I am sending you lots of love and light. Take care. Hello, Taurus. How are you? Let's see what this portal is activating <clears throat> inside of you. Expression. Authentic expression. Words are powerful. Truth. Ooh, it's Taurus. This frequency of love as you step through this 1111 portal is activating your throat chakra and it's time for you to express your truth. It's time for you to say what you need to say. All right. In the past, um, it's not to say like you don't have a voice. But this is different. This is an activation. This is taking you somewhere else to a whole nother level, okay, in your expression. Um, I do feel like uh, many of you have been holding back a lot in, in what you say and what you do for the sake of other people's feelings and, and not wanting to hurt anybody, not wanting to rock the boat, okay? And no more it's like now you're gonna tell somebody what they need to hear and you have to realize Taurus sometimes even though truths are very very painful people need to hear them and I just uh, see you holding a lot of truths that need to be delivered to others and this could be painful hard truths this could be uh, truths where you know somebody doesn't realize how magnificent they are okay it's time for you to express, but also with this, you have um, a very strong knack to see the truth in situations where you're a third party, like you're outside of it, okay? If, you, if it's your own situation, you're like, I feel lost in the sauce, okay? But when it's somebody else's situation or what somebody else is going through, you can absolutely um, see the truth and who's deceptive in that situation okay and um, as you're activated with this love frequency you're gonna not only see that truth stronger but you're gonna have more courage to express the truth the whole truth and nothing but even in the face of fear even in the face of backlash even in the face of anger all right um, because I just see where you hold a lot back because you don't want to hurt feelings, you don't want to rock the boat. And your words, your voice is very powerful, Taurus. I feel there's a lot of people who look up to you, who admire you, who value and cherish your wisdom, your guidance, your intelligence, okay? And so this activation inside of you is almost forcing you to push that more to the forefront and share that with other people coming out of your shell. And you have a voice. Some of you are meant to sing, okay? Because we have this throw chakra. Like, you're meant to sing. You're meant to public speak. You're meant to share your opinion, all right? So big time activation to the throat chakra playing out differently for each of you, obviously, as this is general read. So let's pull some tarot. So we have the Ten of Swords, the Ace of Swords, look at that, the truth, 
and the Empress. This is you. This is your energy, Venus, okay? Here you are, carrying the burden of truth, of um, other people's secrets, of knowing other things, of not, you know, speaking your heart, not speaking your soul. Somebody hurt you and, you know, you just kind of hold them back. Taurus, all that's changing. You're going from this Ten of Swords into this Ace of Swords where things just become crystal clear for you. And like I said, you're not going to hold your tongue anymore. You're going to say what needs to be said. You have a very powerful, strong voice. Not just um, your words, how you say them, but the frequency of your voice. It's activating to people, okay? And you need to know that. And those of you who want to sing or um, you want to publicly speak, uh, you want to be out in the public eye and you've tried and failed and failed, do not give up, okay? When we're failing and we're not getting somewhere, but we feel the calling in our soul, it's because we're being grown, we're being prepared, we're being shaped for that moment, all right? And that does include a lot of setback, a lot of falling down, a lot of disappointments, but you're being activated and um, that dream to speak, to share your voice, however that resonates, is going to become so strong that, that you, you can't forget it, okay? It's your destiny, and this time you have success, okay? The lessons have been learned. You're being activated properly within, and now it's it's showtime, okay? For those of you where this is like you, you want to sing or share your voice um, somehow, some way, now is the right time. And um, those of you that have really been holding back, verbally and certain connections and relationships no more Taurus it's going to be like the floodgates open up and you're just going to speak your truth and that's what's meant to happen and that's going to turn everything around all right and if you've been fighting arguing bickering with somebody through this activation um, it's going to change the way that you express yourself which is going to create a huge change in the way you and this person communicate, all right? Um, and so also this element of truth coming forward, um, not just you speaking the truth, um, but Taurus, I feel there is some truth that's been hidden from you that's also about to come to light through this activation. And look at uh, 10 swords, one sword, that would be 11, right? 11, 11 portal is what we're talking about. Very powerful for you. You're going to put down that 10 of swords. You're going to come into this ace of swords, utter clarity and knowing in the mental body. And from there, prosperity, abundance, happiness for Taurus, feeling strong, having your voice. And again, those of you where this is like um, singing, public speaking, anything like that, now is the time after this activation where you are going to um, achieve success because you're now finally ready. All right, so let's pull you another card, Taurus. All right, star seed elemental. Oh, all right. So those of you that identify as star seed, this is a very special message. All right, that your star family is helping you with this portal energy and this major activation. And so some of you, this truth coming through is the truth of who you truly are. All right, um, and even if you do not identify as star seed. You definitely have some star beings coming in to assist you at this time, Taurus, with this portal energy and bringing you into a much, much higher level of truth and understanding. All right, so those are your messages, Taurus. I am sending you lots of love and light. Take care. Hello, Gemini. How are you? Let's see what this uh, 
frequency of love through the 1111 portal is activating for you specifically. All right, so we've got dolphins. Play. It's okay to relax. Smile again. Share your flow. So this frequency of love activating inside of you, Gemini, is really activating your inner child. Okay. Um, life may have been really hard as of late. You know, it's tough adulting, right? And um, you've lost touch with your inner child, with your imagination with your purity, with your happiness. And this frequency of love is igniting that inner child, is activating that inner child energy where you're not gonna be taking things as seriously as you have been. It's time for play, it's time for happiness, it's time for relaxation. Some of you have been really, really stressed out, working really, really hard, and through this activation inside of you, it, it really switches up your energy, which I feel is gonna open you up to some really awesome opportunities that just add to this energy of happiness, of fun, of play, all right? Let's uh, pull some tarot. Four of Pentacles, yeah, energies felt a bit stuck, a bit stagnant. The Sun in Capricorn, you've been feeling like you have to work really, really hard. You are waiting for your ships to come in. You are waiting for that moment of relaxation. Sun in Aries is having fun. And look at this, Six of Swords. So, Gemini. This really is where we're very um, uptight. We're very drawn within ourself. Um, we don't feel like we have enough um, of resources. Um, you know, it's just the Four of Pentacles, very, very closed up energy. And it's like I have to work very hard even to just get a little bit ahead or even just to make it. I'm tired. I'm burnt out. What's up? And, you know, this could be about your job. This could just be about your life in general. This could be about a certain um, relationship situation. Okay. But the Three of Wands, that movement of the energy of the ship, and then you have the Six of Swords, which is again um, a movement of a ship where the energy has been stuck and, and like stagnant and not enough as you're activated and that energy changes inside you it's really going to soften inside of you and in that space gemini here it comes like your ships coming in your mental body finally being able to relax okay so for you guys the activation is with your inner child but um, I feel like the activation of the inner child is more to align you to what's about to um, transpire in your life over the next several months um, because you've been working really hard. It's been a struggle and now it's time for some play, for some ease, for some flow, okay? And because you've been in this mode for so long, as this energy comes in, I don't feel that you will be able to receive it or enjoy it to the full capacity without this activation to the inner child, okay? So it's almost as though you're getting activated with this love frequency and the inner child to really um, slow you down, to pull you back down into a place of like happiness and not taking things so seriously, giving yourself a break, um, allowing yourself permission to relax, to enjoy life, okay? Because there's some wonderful things that are about to come in. And without that, you, I just, uh, you would be very serious about it or you maybe wouldn't trust it fully, okay? So for you guys, it's time for like a sense of relief, a, a sense of peace, of harmony, of flow, all right? And so <clears throat> you're going to be activated with your inner child to bring you into that mindset so when it arrives, you enjoy it to its fullest.
All right, the sound of the universe. Yes, see? The whole universe, Gemini, is conspiring to give you some fun, to give you some downtime, to give you some peace of mind, for life to be a bit easier, just if not only for a little bit, okay? The whole universe is on your side. You deserve a break, Gemini, and that's why you are getting this activation to your inner child so that you allow that to happen in your life when it shows up, all right? So those are your messages. I'm sending you lots of love and light. Take care. Hello, Cancer. All right. Well, I guess this is what's activating for Cancer. You got two messages here. Ooh, fire and water. Stillness amidst turmoil. Feel emotional integration. And we've got the integration here. Okay, so spirit and emotion fusing a synergy within Cancer. And depths of love. Let go of fear to jump into love, let go beyond attachments. Wow. So this is a uh, card 10 and um, you guys are on that like 10 year cycle as well. But uh, anyways, cancer, you've got fire and water coming through as an activation. So your emotional body and your spirit are going to be brought um, to a much higher level of awareness as you step through this 1111 portal okay this higher vibration of love that frequency activating in you um just uh, expands your spiritual body expands your emotional body and you come over here to the depths of love let go of fear to jump into love your guard really coming down walls coming down um you're feeling very empowered emotionally and spiritually there's just a deeper sense a deeper knowing that's unfolding inside of you about yourself about life about everything going on in the world right now and cancer you are choosing love you are choosing expansion of consciousness you are choosing higher frequencies of understanding of living of being of experiencing so this uh 1111 portal and this love uh frequency being activated in you is very very powerful um you are going to go through a lot of different emotions where you might just be crying your eyes out you don't know why it's a major release a big purge so that you can expand that emotional body okay um and then you might find that you're angry and you're frustrated and you're mad and you're going through a day of that it's again because you're releasing all those old residual energies of anger of frustration of hurt of pain because you're evolving emotionally and spiritually into a whole new shape cancer this is big and deep for you guys and uh you know we got the love the love the love and now you guys <clears throat> have the love so it's all about the love for cancer Oh yeah, because look at this, Ten of Swords, you've absolutely uh, been through it, 100%. You've been through some things. Six of Cups, and look at this, the Sun in Scorpio right there. And the Sun is in Scorpio as we have this 1111 portal. Six of Cups, Soulmate, Inner Child, Energy. And lastly, the Ace of Pentacles. Nice. All right, Cancer. Um, what we have happening here is you really uh, shut parts of your heart space off and even pulled away from different aspects of your soul that make you empathic, that make you compassionate, that make you care deeply <clears throat> because of how much you've been hurt by people who meant everything to you, okay? 
everything to you. Like you've really been let down. And um, now Cancer, it's it's time to evolve beyond that because you card 10 and then you've got another 10. So this again is like um, a 10 year cycle of lessons of energy that you've been working with. And as you step through this 1111 portal, you're leaving all of that behind and all the work that you've done now you are being activated you receive all of that um, the reward of all of that all um, those emotional lessons are now toolbox uh, are, are now tools in your emotional toolbox okay and what has been your your that's fading away you're stepping into like a whole new reality a whole new world with this activation to your heart space to your soul and you're ready to open up you're ready to embrace you're ready to be empathic and compassionate and sensitive sensitive and caring again okay because of how greatly and vastly you are expanding through this 1111 portal and you're going to be able to put this ten of swords down you've learned so much from that cancer absolutely 100 percent okay um sun and gemini gemini's third house that's all about learning right and now Sun and Scorpio and 8th uh, house, major transformation. So you've learned your lessons and now it's time to transform into all of that experience, all of that wisdom and move into a new solid path forward, okay? New connections, strengthening of connections for cancer where we, you know, have uh, pushed away now you're going to immerse yourself back in, all right? So this is 100% the frequency of love activating in your heart space, in your soul, and it brings so much healing, so much expansion and freedom to you, Cancer. And <clears throat> you are ready to love again and be your beautiful, healing, Cancerian self. And it's like new love, new connections coming in are solid. It's not this riffraff because you've learned your lessons here. And you know, some of you could be nearing um, a union with your true soulmate. All right. Yes. Surrender to the whole process. You're being turned inside out you're being stretched but it's all for the higher good of you and after that process is complete you just feel whole cancer you feel healed you feel ready to move on move forward with a heart wide open embracing everybody sending love and light to everybody all right <clears throat> so those are your messages Cancer, I am sending you lots of love and light. Take care. Hello, Leo. Let's see what uh, this love frequency is activating in you as you step through this 1111 portal. Ships of Light. Oh my gosh, look at it. And it's a card 11. This is a powerful portal for you, Leo. Beam up your vibrations. Open to your star family. All right, <clears throat> Leo. Some of you are being activated to your awareness of being a light worker, being a star seed, having a higher spiritual calling. So um, those of you that that's resonating, I highly recommend you watch the um, star seed light worker 1111 portal message that I do because that is definitely going to pertain to you. Um, some of you that are already in this awareness of, of you know who and what you are and what you're here to do and be, you are going to have an activation in your consciousness to better connect with um your star family okay and some of you this could be a direct physical contact that you um, have been preparing for and aligning to all right and um, now for the rest of you where that doesn't apply 
what this tells me is there's this major activation happening inside of you where all the information, all the knowing, all of the guidance that your angels, your um, spirit guides have been giving you is now activating inside of you. And it's like um, reading, you know, the entire encyclopedia set in a matter of a second, okay? It's like everything activating all at once and you just have this profound understanding and knowing about yourself and your journey and why you've been going through certain things and coming into the answer and the solution, okay? So major activation to your light body, Leo, which is better connecting you in to your star family or your spirit guides. And through that, you have better um, awareness in, and you're um, more receptive of the guidance from your spiritual team to help you move forward in the future, but as well as make sense of everything you've been going through in the past, okay? Ace of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles, and look at 11 right there, 11, 11. Oh my gosh, I love it, Leo. And Page of Swords. And look at Two Swords, 11. Yeah, this 11, 11 portal, very powerful for you, Leo. Um, yeah, definitely, I mean, the Ten of Coins is like family. Um, some of you are truly activating, awakening for the first time of your star lineage, okay? Where you truly come from, what, what this is all about, why you're here, okay? It could be a very confusing time because we see this page of swords here, the awareness, the awakening, all right, coming into play about where you truly come from. You're a star connected, you know, um, you're a star. You are a star, Leo. You come from a very specific collective consciousness, Leo. Okay, and here, here's your family, your star family, your uh, collective consciousness family. Here you are on the earth plane, okay? And now you are becoming aware of this aspect of yourself, really activating and turning on. Others of you have already known okay and um, there's going to be a big expansion to your consciousness again where you're able to have like more uh, like better a uh, direct contact with your star family okay or physical I mean we've got the pinnacles here okay like physical and then lastly um, you know the rest of you where you know this is uh, not so much about starseed, light worker, energy. Um, this is where the activation happening in your light body, Leo, where you are now understanding every lesson, every step of your journey. It's all making sense, okay? And um, no matter how this is activating inside of you whether it's very spiritually based or it's more 3D based, it doesn't matter. It's what you need to know at this time, Leo. This activation inside of you is exactly what your conscious mind needs to come into knowing, come into understanding for what's up ahead, okay? But also for a full understanding of every step you took to this point because you are absolutely completing a cycle of sorts and some of you um, this is letting you know that through this activation to the light body it's gonna somehow some way create a major major opportunity um, for you financially Leo that can bring in a lot of money <clears throat> okay um, money making idea for some of you and um, it's like you've never thought of this before okay it's like brand new however this comes in for you it's brand new you've never ever thought of it 
before okay so those of you where this is more 3d based um, you're understanding the past you're feeling um, very secure about the future in a way you haven't before Leo it's like you've been unsure you've been confused and now it's like solid knowing moving forward having a plan of action knowing what's up ahead um, and huge financial improvement coming for some Leos with this uh, light body activation and then the rest of you you're awakening to your star lineage like your star seed families and your whole purpose of being here on the earth plane at this time and those of you where that <clears throat> really resonates highly recommend you watch the star seed light worker 1111 message to further expand on this for you Oh my goodness, look at that. Home. See, and she's pointing to her heart. Yeah, I'm going to say uh, for the majority of Leos, it's all about your star family and where you truly come from, your true lineage, and your full awakening and awareness of that. Or finally, like direct contact, because that's what this whole card is about right here. You got it right there, Leo. Uh, I want to keep it 3D because I know not all Leos out there are, um, you know, into these higher spiritual concepts. Um, but man, there it is. There it is. And uh, those of you where this is more 3D, Leo, I really feel through this activation, it's like maybe some of you are finally gonna be able to buy a home purchase a home okay but wow deep deep message for Leo's there you go those are your messages Leo with this portal I am sending you lots of love and light take care <clears throat> hello Virgo how are you Let's see how this love frequency is activating inside of you through this 1111 portal. Oh wow, you guys have ships of light as well. Um, Leo just received this card, it's number 11, so this 1111 portal very significant for you Virgo as some of you um, this is going to be an activation and an awareness to your true spiritual lineage where you come from all right being a star seed being a light worker being on the earth plane to work for spirit to work with the light for the upliftment of humanity okay some of you are now awakening to this truth this understanding about yourself okay some of you already fully aware of this and um, your consciousness expanding in such a way Virgo that you're gonna have better communication with your star family okay um, and now for a uh, more 3d message of how you're activating Virgo I just see like um, this is very spiritual this is not 3d at all for you guys um, it, those of you who don't identify starseed light worker here to do spirit service um, this is more like a, an activation to consciousness that's making you more aware of the universe at large and all the consciousness and intelligence that exists and not only that um, the oneness of the human family um, really seeing you know things from spiritual eyes how we're all brothers and sisters whether somebody's perceived as good or bad right or wrong like um, there's uh, you don't see that like you you see the sacredness that the soul in every single person walking on the earth plane so this is a uh, very very spiritual activation for Virgo it's like um, the love frequency is activating you to your spiritual self and um, that's either to awaken to your star seed family to become um, a stronger channel for your star seed family or an awakening of spirit self 
to see like all of humanity through different eyes. It's just very deep, Virgo, very spiritual. Yes, see that? This is uh, the Ace of Swords, which is um, utter clarity of the mind This in this reading, your communication with your star family. Some of you, the illumination and the awakening to who and what you truly are. Others of you, this uh, awakening um, of seeing through your spiritual eyes the sacredness of all souls on this earth plane, but not just the earth plane, like the universe at large, the intelligence, the consciousness that exists everywhere in every single thing, things seen and known and things not seen and things unknown. Yeah, a whole new world opening up to the mental body, that page of swords and the five of wands. Okay. Those of you where this is this uh, awakening and activation to your star family, um, your true purpose, there's an internal conflict going on where you go, well, you either go back and forth, those of you who are already aware, like, oh, yeah, I totally feel that, I, I vibe with that, and then I'm just stupid, that's silly, you go back and forth, okay? So those of you that are already aware and those of you that are awakening, to your star seed um, connection, it's like you're, you've been going back and forth, and that's gonna end. Like you're really gonna come, become clear and and know for sure, okay? And those of you where this is a, a awakening to your spirit self, where you're connecting deeper with humanity and seeing everything through a much much different perception, it's gonna allow a lot of internal conflict within you to settle Virgo because through these spiritual eyes this understanding you forgive you and it doesn't mean like you forgive um, crappy people and, and let them in your life it's like you forgive um, their ways um, and you you're not in a place of judgment of anybody you just see everybody in, in their place in this world and how it all fits together, the good and the bad, the right and the wrong. And you're just really feeling everybody and you're um, wanting to go into a place of, let me speak truth, let me um, heal you, let me guide you. You don't want to fight anybody. You don't want to change anybody's opinions. You truly seek to bring harmony, peace and flow into their heart space, into their soul, because it doesn't matter what they believe. You know, once they're in alignment with their self, that brings more peace and harmony to the earth plane, to the collective conscious of humanity, okay? Very, very spiritual energy, just this higher, higher knowing of your spirit, of where you're from, and um, you becoming very aware of messages from your star seed family, Virgo very spiritual activation of the soul for Virgo healing nice Virgo so however this relates to you However, this awakening and, and deeper, deeper knowing and understanding unfolds. It is so healing for you, for your mind, for your heart, for your soul. It's just bringing you in such balance, such flow, such harmony. And you in this space, your vibes just naturally emanate that. And others um, get on board with that and naturally balance out just being in your vibe. Okay? Because also your um, starseed family wants to really help expand and elevate your vibration in general. Okay? So those are your messages, Virgo. I am sending you lots of love and light. Take care.
Hello, Libra. How are you? Let's see what this 1111 portal is doing for you guys as this higher frequency of love gets activated. Manifest, co-create, gratitude, divine alignment, joyful visions. Ooh, Libra. So this higher frequency of love energy, as it activates inside of you, you're becoming more aware of your personal power, your inner alchemist, your inner magician. And um, you, you, there's an alignment between you and the universe for co-creation, for manifestation, and you're understanding that process in a way that you never ever have before, okay? And um, you're becoming very aware of your path, your dreams, your goals, what your destiny is, okay? There's just gonna be this knowing inside, Libra, your destiny, your calling. It's because divine alignment is taking place as you step through this 1111 portal. And that divine alignment is like you in this perfect moment with spirit where it all just makes sense Libra and when I say that it's like it all makes sense but you could never ever 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 put it into words it's just this knowing that's happening from the inside out and you know what to do to make things happen to get things done you're feeling empowered you're feeling magical whereas prior to this activation you may have known you may have been on the path but it, it's like um, it, it was a full force. You weren't full of life. You weren't full of knowing. And after this activation, there's just no stopping you, Libra. You know your path. You know your purpose. You know your destiny. And, and you're just going to boom. It's going to happen. You're going to make it manifest. Okay. Um, some of you are having a lot of breakthroughs as well um, with different uh, blockages you've had emotionally. Finally overcoming that as this higher frequency of love activates inside of you and you have major, major breakthroughs. Oh yeah, we have the Palace of Cups, Libra. This is the highest denomination of the cup suit. So this is your emotional body. This is the level of um, like maturity uh, that you're receiving here. You've completed some major lesson in the emotional body. It's clearing and now it's like you're the master of this energy, which would make sense because now you are becoming a master manifester. Four of Wands, yes, it's stability, making things happen, making things manifest, things you can count on. And here you are, the King of Cups. So Libra, um, you may have been kind of, like you've done about it, like your manifestations, fizzling out or just not happening. I'm feeling confused in the past. Like I thought this was my path. Like what's going on? You have been doing a lot, a lot of work in the emotional body, at least for the past five years. And now you've completed it. And as you step through this 1111 portal, you know, these four of wands, but here's two for an 11. Here's the other two for the other 11, 11, 11. The portal right here you're now stepping through because you have fully learned the emotional lessons that you've been working on okay and here over here now it's time to release all the old energy and fully expand into uh, this emotional body of yours that has uh, reached the capacity of the soul lesson attached to it okay you are now the master of this energy inside of yourself and that's why you are going to become this magic manifester as you step through this 1111 portal you know what to do emotionally to make things manifest physically and it's like having a much much better handle on your emotional body than you have in the past alright so Libra 
you've completed a major lesson here emotionally and because of that it's time to expand into that knowing that wisdom and from there you are on fire you are on fire you just know your path and and what you need to make happen for yourself and there's nothing that's going to hold you back you are definitely um the master of the emotional realm here surrender libra surrender to the energies you see how she's being like uh pulled expanded that's what's happening for you like that's like looks like uh water to me yeah as you come into this like um think of it as you were wearing a, a size small shirt okay and now you need like size triple x shirt that's how much you've expanded emotionally completing these emotional lessons and here you are like being turned inside out being stretched being pulled into that triple x t-shirt okay from a small t-shirt to triple x that's the work you've done and so surrender to all the changes emotionally mentally physically that you will experience as you step through this portal because it's all going to come full circle for you and it's like you are magic on the other side of this portal, Libra. So those are your messages. I am sending you lots of love and light. Take care.